So we are going to start with the, the salt analysis. See, salt for salt analysis, uh, you must follow that systematic uh, method and uh, the procedure I have given. Today I will show you how to do a salt systematically. See, a salt has a cation and an anion. First, we will have to do some preliminary experiments. One is the uh, appearance, color and appearance of the salt. Here the salt I have given, you can see it is a crystalline nature, but since it is hygroscopic, it became a liquid. It is actually crystalline in nature. So this salt, which is crystalline in nature, it, since it is uh, uh, hygroscopic, that means absorb moisture from the air and it is becoming a, it is dissolving in it, that's why. Uh, otherwise it will be a colorless crystalline salt. So the first, you take that yesterday I have sent you one analysis, analysis of simple salt one. You take that open and you see, the first one is noted color and appearance. Color and appearance is colorless and crystalline. Colorless means all the colored ions are absent. Colored ions like copper, nickel, etc. are absent. And for examination, you will get only colorless. So, colorless ions like aluminium or magnesium or zinc, etc. may be present. Now, that is the first system, first preliminary experiment. Next one is, so the next preliminary experiment is solubility. You have to take a test tube and a little water. A small quantity of water you have to take and add a little salt. Okay, a little salt you have to add and see whether it is soluble in water. So this is soluble in water. You can see the substance is soluble in water. And it is transparent. Transparent means it is soluble in water. So the substance is soluble in water. So that means all insoluble substances like uh, carbonate etc. are absent. I, it can be either chloride, nitrate, sulphate etc. Okay. So solubility we have tested. Now next is, so preliminary experiments we have, we have now we got the colored, no colored ions are there and if it is uh, crystalline, it, that mean can be either chloride, nitrate, etc. If it is powdery, it can be carbonate, uh, powdery means amorphous solid, it can be uh, carbonate, sulphide, etc. Uh, and since it is soluble in water, it can be either chloride, sulphate, nitrate, etc. Okay, so this, so we got an idea about uh, that one. But this is not only not a confirmation test. It is only a preliminary. It gives only a preliminary idea. Okay. Now next is analysis for the anion. And that also you will have to do systematically. First with the dilute HCl. Second with the dilute sulfuric acid. The third one with the concentrated sulfuric acid. Then with the barium chloride. So the first one is with a dilute HCl. Take a little salt. You take a little salt and add a dilute HCl. Dilute HCl will be there at the sides of the uh, this rack. It will be there. You see, take a little dilute HCl and see any reaction is there. You can see there is no reaction at all. So no reaction. So with the dilute HCl, no reaction. So right, no reaction, absence of carbonate, sulfide, etc. Take a smell, no smell. So that means carbonate, sulphide, etc. are absent. Okay. Now the next test. Next is with the dilute sulfuric acid. For dilute sulfuric acid, what you, what you can do is, you can take a watch glass, a watch glass, take a little salt, take a little salt, uh, since even if it is uh, light watery, no problem. Then you take dilute sulfuric acid from there and take a drop there little dilute sulfuric acid we have added. Now take a glass roll, then rub it like, like this you rub it and take a smell. Here there is no particular smell. If you have the smell of vinegar, if you have the smell of vinegar then it is acetate. Here we don't have any smell so that means no smell absence of acetate. Okay, so that also we have done. 
Now the next is with the concentrated sulfuric acid. See with the concentrated sulfuric acid, we have to test chloride, bromide or iodine. See first you will have to see what are the observation you re require. If it is a chloride, you will get a colorless gas with a pungent smell that will give you dense white fumes with ammonium hydroxide. So before starting itself, you will have to take all the things with you. So take a test tube, add a little salt, then you take a glass rod, dip it in ammonium hydroxide and keep it with you. Then you take add concentrated sulfuric acid. And if you are getting fumes, okay, if you are not getting fumes, you can just warm it. Okay, don't heat it strongly, you warm it. Then if you are getting, getting a colorless gas, you show your glass rod dipped with the ammonium hydroxide at the mouth of the test tube. If you are getting a dense white fume, then it is chloride. If you are getting reddish brown fumes, it is bromide. And if you are getting violet fumes, it is iodine. So, when I am doing today, taking a test tube, you take a little salt. A little salt is taken. Now, what you have to take is, you take a glass rod. And then, this is ammonium hydroxide. Dip the glass rod in ammonium hydroxide. Close it immediately. Then, keep it in the hand. Then, you take the concentrated sulfuric acid. You have to use a dropper. Dropper with a dropper only you will have to use. Okay, see a fume is coming up. You can see the fume. Now you glass rod, the glass rod which you dipped with the you see again, you can with a sponge smell gas is coming. See the glass rod when you show the near, near the glass rod, you see. It is becoming dense fume. Uh, right? So the substance is chloride. Okay? So the anion present is chloride. You keep it there for some time. Then, see, you should not smell. It is an uh, uh, HCl gas. So HCl gas you should not smell properly through using a lot of water. You wash it out. Okay? So you have chloride. Anion is chloride. Okay. Now, now you will have to test, confirmatory test for the ions. The ion, chloride ion. What are the confirmatory tests? One is with the silver nitrate. So, you take an aqueous solution of the substance and silver nitrate. You will get a white curdy precipitate which is soluble in excess ammonium hydroxide. That is the first thing. So, you will have to take salt solution. Take a little salt. Take a little salt, then add water, a small amount of water to your milk water, you will have to add. Now I have added water. Now to the salt solution, you add only one drop of silver nitrate. Silver nitrate I added. You got a white curdy precipitate. Mm -hmm. Got a curdy precipitate. Now you will have to see the solubility of this. For that, what you have to take is you take ammonium hydroxide in another test tube. In another test tube, you take ammonium hydroxide. Okay, two three two ml of three ml of ammonium hydroxide you take, and from this precipitate, only one drop you add to this ammonium hydroxide solution. Only one drop. Okay. See, it becomes soluble. You can either if it is more, you can add a little bit more ammonium hydroxide. See, <coughs> it is becoming soluble. So, excess ammonium hydroxide it became solid. Okay. So, this is how you will have to do it. So, this is the chloride. Another confirmatory test is there. That is. <coughs> Chromite chloride test. Now what is chromite chloride test? You will have to take two test tubes of same mouth cells. Like this you have to take the two. Then take a little salt and potassium dichromate and concentrated sulfuric acid. 
little salt, potassium dichromate and concentrated sulfuric acid. Then you collect that gas by keeping like this. Then that gas you have to take, dissolve it in water and add lead acetate. Okay, so first you have to take, so you must be ready with the two uh, similar, same size the Because you have taken concentrated sulfuric acid, you must be very careful. So we have taken one test tube, then add a little salt. Add a little salt. Okay, then potassium dichromate. This is potassium dichromate. Then concentrated sulfuric acid. Concentrated sulfuric acid. See, you are getting an orange colored vapor. Okay. So that you will have to collect say heavy vapor. And if you are not getting, you can just warm also. Okay. Collect that gas by keeping like this. Okay, you are not getting, you can even use just warming also. Huh? Two, three drops of water you will have to add here. Two, three drops of water we have added. Then add lead acetate. Add lead acetate. So this is the test for chloride, confirmatory test. So one you have done is silver nitrate test. They add a, a, a drop of silver nitrate to the echo solution of the salt. Then you test the solubility in ammonium hydroxide. In the second test, what is the second test? Take a little salt, concentrated sulfuric acid, sorry, potassium dichromate and concentrated sulfuric acid. Then if you want, you can just warm it. Then uh, collect the gas in another test tube, dissolve it in water and add lead acetate. If you are getting endo precipitate, you have chloride. So your anion is confirmed that is it contains chloride. Now you will have to go for cations. See cations, actually cations are, uh, are classified into different groups and each group has group reagent. So the first group is group 1 with a, the group reagent dilute HCl. So, so in cation analysis, you will have to take <coughs> salt solution. So you take salt solution and add the group reagent. For first group, the group reagent is dilute HCl. If you are getting a white precipitate, group 1 cation is present. The group 1 cation is lead. In the second group, you have the group reagents dilute HCl and H2S. Dilute HCl, you will have to add, uh, add it, then add H2S. If you are getting a precipitate, that means it is group 2. Usually group 2 cations are cadmium, copper, etc. Now, if it, it is not there, you go for group 3. Group 3, the uh, group reagents are solid ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide. Sorry, solid ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. If you are getting a precipitated there, then group 3 is present. And now, if group 3 is absent, you divide that into two portions. That portions you have taken for group 3. In one portion, you add H2S because in the third, fourth group, the group reagents are ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide and H2S. Then if there is no precipitate, group 4 is also not there. Group 4 cation is zinc ion the nickel etc. Now if it is not there you go for group 5. Group 5 the uh, group reagents are ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide which is already there. Then you add ammonium carbonate. The next reagent is ammonium carbonate. 
If there is a precipitate there, that means group 5 is there. Now, if group 5 is there, you leave it, then take again salt solution, ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide and disodium hydrogen orthophosphate. Okay, if a precipitate is there, then it is group 6. And if group 6 is absent, then you can go for ammonium. For ammonium, you take a little salt and add sodium hydroxide, rub with your, uh, with a, this one and smell it. If ammonia, smell of ammonia is there, that means it is group, ammonia is present, then you will have to do the test. Test is, take a little salt, add sodium hydroxide, warm it, then show a glass rod dipped in concentrated XCA. If you are getting dense fumes, then it is ammonia. Then you do the confirmation. Okay, so this is how it is classified in the groups and the, the group reagents. Now we will start with the first group. You will have to take a little salt solution. I have prepared the salt solution. This is salt solution and dilute HCl. Dilute HCl you will have to add and see if any precipitate is there. I have added dilute HCl, there is no precipitate. So that means group 1 is absent. Now you go for group 2. Group 2 the reagents are dilute HCl and H2S. HCl we have already added. So we will add H2S. I have taken uh, hydrogen sulfide solution is there. You add that. There is no precipitate. Okay. So that means group 1 is absent. Now you go for group 2. Group 2 and group so group 1 and group 2 are absent. Now we will go for group 3. In group 3, what are the group reagents? Group reagents are dilute HC, sorry, ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide, ammonium chloride, it must be solid ammonium chloride. Okay, so you take a little salt solution. Take salt solution. Then, ammonium chloride, solid ammonium chloride, it is there kept in your desk, solid ammonium chloride is there. That also, you will have to take a little more, solid ammonium chloride, solid ammonium chloride I have taken. Now, ammonium hydroxide you will have to add in excess, ammonium hydroxide. So we had added ammonium hydroxide, I have taken this much more because I can divide it into groups. Okay, see there is no precipitate. So that means group 3 is absent, no group 3. Ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide we have added, there is no group 3. Now we will go for group 4. Then we will take a little from here and do the group 4 test because the group 4 reagents are ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide and H2S. So I will take a little from here then and H2S. You see H2S I am adding. No precipitate. No precipitate at all. So that means group 4 is also absent. Now we will go for group 6. Sorry, group 5, group 5, which are the reagents, ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide, which we have already added, ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide, which we have already added, then you go for ammonium carbonate, ammonium carbonate solution is also there, ammonium carbonate solution, ammonium carbonate we have added, no precipitate, that means group 5 is also not there, now we will go for group 6. For group 6, the reagents are ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide and disodium hydrogen orthophosphate. Disodium hydrogen orthophosphate. I'll take that reagent. We have already taken with the ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. You take that. Then add disodium hydrogen orthophosphate. That is, it contains ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide. Now with the disodium hydrogen orthophosphate, see I have added, I got a white precipitate, that means group 6 is present, 
the gap joint present in the group 6 is magnesium ion okay so that means magnesium is present so we will take magnesium is the catcher now we have identified it we will have to do the confirmatory test now the confirmatory test for magnesium is ash test how will you add ash test take a little salt salt solution add cobalt nitrate solution and concentrated nitric acid so let me take a little salt solution salt solution I have taken then cobalt nitrate solution this is cobalt nitrate solution take a little cobalt nitrate solution and then you will have to add concentrated nitric acid this is concentrated nitric acid with a dropper you add 2-3 drops of concentrated nitric acid then now we will have to take <coughs> Filter papers, you dip it in the filter paper strips, you will have to take, dip it in the filter paper strips, then dip it in the solution. Before that, you uh, gas must be the lamp burn with ash. Now you dip this filter paper in the solution filter paper then dry it then add once more you dip it Burn to ash. white ash with the pink tinge you will get see you can see the white colored ash with a slight pink color that's all pink ash will write but it is not that pink tinted white ash okay Amanda. okay so this is magnesium confirmed. So our salt contain chloride as anion and magnesium Mg2 plus as cation and the salt is magnesium chloride. Okay. So this is what I have sent you. You will have to write it and I tomorrow we will conduct the next salt. Okay.